So we like the idea of having a tiny camp kitchen that we could take to the beach or lake with us. And we discovered this little guy. Greg looked at getting, um, building himself. And by the time you added all the cost in, it was cheaper to go with this model. Eat camp box. Uh, we plastered it with stickers, but we haven't actually tested it out. So let's see if it actually does a good job. Okay, we got some little side latches that holds it all down. And we can take this top off. We got our legs inside here. And this is the bottom of the burners. And then on the opposite side, we have the top of the burners. So it comes with six poles. There's two that are a little bit longer and they screw into the metal part. Now that we have all the legs in, we're gonna flip it on over to make our little table. Something to be aware of is the, it's not adjustable, so there might be some gaps if it's not on flat ground, but it gives us extra counter space and it's sturdy. One of the neat things is it has this little silverware thing that just pops right up and that extra board we had goes right on top. So yet another space for prep. We got our GSI outdoor cookware, which has some pots in it, some plates that we can use. Stanley cup. It's nice and lined with the, the reflective material to keep it cool in here so we could store some food. We've got our packets we're gonna cook up. Um, I think we'll do some curry, try that out. Utensils, cutting board, extra silverware, which actually could fit up here, paper towels. And we still have a little bit of space, so we could add more if we needed to. So we bought this for both this kitchen and our other kitchen. So we got our skillet, lids for the pots. It comes with little cups for not only drinking, but you could do soup. And it's got a nice little cup holder. And we got our pots. We got good sized pots and plates and then an, yet yeah, another big pan here and this is a washing container it's all color coded coordinated as well this one has the handles for the stove or the skillet oh this is brand new we haven't used it we'll do the use it a couple times and then do a nice review for you we're going to leave these out and use these as the bowls so we were gonna use this to boil our water, but unfortunately it is too small and fits. <laughs> we'll use our pot from our cook set. Next time we'll have to figure out some sort of little grate that we can put right on top of the burner so that we can use that little cup. The pots come with a little handle, snapped into place. We have a little handle. Hopefully we have a pot holder. For our cat mandu curry, cat mandu. I'm gonna take this curry. Going to need two and three fourths cup boiling water. And actually, the Stanley comes with these little cups, and it has a one cup measuring line inside of it. With our ginormous Arctic water jug. So we're gonna put the fuel source in, which we should have done the first spot for getting everything out. And it just screws in. It can also use propane. You can turn the burner on here and then you push the button to ignite it. So listen closely. You don't see it, but you can definitely hear it's on. Water. Add three, two to three fourths cups boiling water, stir well, seal and let sit for 15 to 20 minutes. Oh, and it's made in Boulder, Colorado. There's the packet we take out and discard. I think the thing I like the most about it is that it's got a nice area so you can set out stuff you need. Obviously we're just doing one thing, but if we had more, we could set our plates up here and get our food ready. 
Um, being so close to the ground, a little strange. Well, I guess maybe if I was in a different chair, because this one is a little bit more uh, a chill chair. But it's not bad. It's very interesting. Okay, it's boiling, so we'll go ahead and turn off the burner and pour into this very carefully. Should have taken this off while I was cooking because it's definitely hot and I do not have a pot holder. Okay, here we go. Did say to stir it and seal it up. Ooh, it smells spicy. Okay, set a timer for 15 minutes and now we wait. These pots are actually, as considering it just was holding boiling water, I can hold it with my hands. I mean, that's warm to the touch, but definitely not toler. I mean, it's definitely tolerable, which is a nice feature. Handle attachment. Take it off while it's cooking so it does not heat up and then you will not burn your hands or have a nice pot holder with you. It's been 15 minutes, so let's give this a test and see. Oh, well, that looks actually really good. Let's give this a try. Hmm. That's good. Very spicy though, but I'm not a very spicy person. <laughs> Temperature wise, fine. Temperature heat wise, oh, my tongue's on fire. <sighs> this <sighs> hot. Mm. Tasty, but hot. So this was definitely easy to use. I think it'd be fun taking it down to the beach because you could just sit right on the sand while you're cooking because it'd be a perfect height like that. We definitely have a list of things that we need to add to it to make it even better. I guess go right into that compartment. Fold it over, fold it over, get our lid. I'm gonna slide our strap in and done. Overall thoughts on this, easy to use and definitely convenient. We'll see you next time.